in a matter of a, a week or two. And if there is any emergency at this moment in the history of this country, this is the moment. And so we need to get the security and clearance documents. I want to see them. I want to see what he put in those documents to find out if he was honest on those forms. And we need to know how much he got paid to have dinner with Putin. But that is only the beginning. The press has asked us over and over again. I know they asked Mr. Schiff and they asked the leader, does it end here? Shouldn't things end here? No, they cannot end here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at a fight in a fight for the soul of our democracy. The question is, is whether, whether we will clearly understand that this is our watch. And let's be clear, Schiff said it quite eloquently. The Republicans need to join us. This is not a Democratic issue. This is not a Republican issue. It's not an independent issue. This is an American issue for the soul of our democracy. Now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the chairman, the ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, Mr. Congress. Unless we want to yield to the leader. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Our ranking member. Thank you so much. Uh, the overdue resignation of General Flynn last evening does not resolve this matter. I want to make that clear because I've been trying to uh, get my uh, chairman of the Judiciary Committee to hold a hearing immediately today, certainly not later than tomorrow. Uh, what did President Trump no, and when did he know it? What did Vladimir Putin know, and when did he uh, knew it? How is it possible that the White House counsel knew this for about three whole weeks? Boy, it's and time to retire. Your ass can't even talk no more. Now, the American people deserve answers. And they're not receiving them from some either fresh blood the Trump in administration or from the Republican Congress. So we will do everything within our power to continue to get to the bottom of this very serious breach in trust and security. We have not heard back from our our leadership uh, today, and. We, we need uh, fresh blood in there. Uh, repeatedly to Chairman Goodlatte about this matter. Now, uh, why is it that the Flynn resignation does not resolve this matter? We need to know and to find out who authorized Flynn to speak to the Russian. We need to know why he lied to the administration. We and need the fresh blood. People and why the White House Counsel's Office sat on this information for three weeks. Now, it would surprise me to find out that Flynn was acting on his own. This, this is why we can't progress. We need fresh blood in there, States fresh ideas, new spirit. And so uh, we want everyone to know that this is just the beginning of a, a inquiry uh, that uh, we're, we're not making accusations. We're just trying to find uh, answers to We these, are making uh, accusations, God damn it. Fresh blood. Mr. Thompson. Good afternoon. I'm Benny Thompson, ranking member of Homeland. Security. Uh, from what you heard from other members, uh, this resignation only starts the issue. Uh, there are a lot of unanswered questions. Uh, you can't blame the press for a person's resignation. Uh, the press, just like uh, the people, have a right to know. There are a lot of unanswered questions that go uh, with this resignation that, as members of Congress, we're duty bound. Uh, to try to find answers to. So I'm looking forward to the leadership, should they desire, on the Republican side to step forward 
and do the right thing for uh, this country. Uh, Russia, uh, under any circumstance, has demonstrated that they are a bad actor and complicit in a lot of what's going on. The people have a right to know. And so we're here today uh, to put front and center that uh, while this is the people's house, uh, the people, just like members of Congress, have a right to know what's exactly behind the resignation, who knew what was going on uh, before the phone calls, whether there are transcripts available, we understand there might be, but that's why Congress can get engaged in this as well as the people uh, so we can finally get some answers. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Elliot Engel. I'm the ranking member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Thank you, Madam Leader, and, and thank you, fellow ranking members. Good afternoon. The National Security Council is at the top of our foreign policy decision-making apparatus. If the Council is dysfunctional, if its leadership is compromised, it puts our national security at risk. So it's a good thing that General Flynn stepped down. But his departure raises more questions than it answers. What promises did General Flynn make to Putin's ambassador, and who else was involved? How deep were the connections between Russia and President Trump's campaign prior to the election? Why did the White House ignore the warnings of the Justice Department and allow someone subject to Putin's blackmail to remain in a critical national security role? This problem, therefore, is far from resolved. We need to pursue, punish, and protect. Pursue the answers about Russia's interference in our election and Putin's ongoing ties to this administration, a thorough investigation by a nonpartisan commission. Punish those responsible for trying to undermine our democracy from overseas and protect future elections from this sort of unlawful interference. Legislation introduced by Ranking Member Cummings to protect our Democracy Act and my own bill to secure our Democracy Act would put us on the right path. These bills should be no-brainers. But we don't hear much from our Republican friends. Unfortunately, House Republicans don't seem to have any interest in dealing with this challenge. It's really hard to believe a foreign government tried to undermine our democracy and until last night had compromising material on a very senior administration official that we know of. Republicans don't seem to care. What else does Putin have? And on whom? Apparently House Republicans aren't interested in finding out. Already today their leadership has offered a collective shrug when asked if there should be an investigation. <coughs> That's the definition of putting party before country. But we're not going to back down. We're going to press this issue again and again until we get answers. Democrats are not going to remain silent. House Foreign Affairs Democrats are not going to remain silent. Soft this is about response. politics. This is about grappling with a real threat to our security and our democracy. Thank you very much. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Richard Neal, the ranking member of the... And as we've been listening to the House Democrats calling for an investigation, uh, I, we are still joined by retired four-star General Barry McCaffrey. Back with me now, Colin Call, former National Security Advisor Joe Biden, Rick Stengel, former Undersecretary of State for Public Diplomacy, and now joining us, Ambassador Michael McFaul, former Ambassador to Russia, who is now the Director of the Institute for International Studies at Stanford. Uh, Mike McFaul, uh, what went wrong here with the way Mike Flynn handled his interactions with Russia? Well, a lot of things. Uh, it depends on the story we're talking about. The specifics, of course.